Okay guys, Gresham 1973 again with another update. Um, so we have water in the tank, we have sand in the tank. As you can see, I put in two different grades of sand, the finer grade on the bottom and a coarser grade on the top just to avoid the sand blowing around the tank because I do have some MP40s and tons of wave makers on the tank so did not want the sand all over the tank um, I also did a manifold style plumbing for the calcium reactors, phosphate reactors denitrators anything you need water for put enough taps in so I can just so I can just tap it in whenever I need to um, Refugiums coming along pretty good top off system already put in um, connected to Kilwasa stir so the top off will go into the Kilwasa then go into the sump um, this is my protein skimmer I'm going to be using it's an ATD protein skimmer rated for like times 700 dollars or something like that. Um, see what we have on this side here. On this side here we have another refugium. We have a RO unit. MP40s, Tunzi. UV sterilizer. Now all of this is not going to be visible when I'm finished. Everything just stay open up right now until I'm finished with all the work, all the plumbing, all the electrical, everything. So, you know, just bear with me. <laughs> it will all be finished in time. So that's the sand bed. It has to be seeded. Right now it's just, you know, just sand. So I'm going to see the sand bed part, definitely want a live sand bed, so I'm going to be seeding the sand in the next two weeks and hopefully I'll do another video when that process takes place, but you know everything coming along pretty good. The tank, now one thing with the tank, the tank never went through a cycle because of the two refugiums. There was enough bacteria, I guess, in the system, so the tank never go through any cycle. Didn't have any high, any spikes in anything. Right now, the perimeters are perfect. So, and it's already been over a little over two weeks. So, if something was going to happen, it would already started happening. So, I guess because of the two refugiums, I'm not having any major cycle issues. You um, also see filter socks, everything already hooked up. These are the two returns from the refugiums. They don't want any socks or anything on those, you know, or you want the copper pods and stuff flowing back into the tank from the refugium. So those will not have any filter socks on them. I mean, that's pretty much it for now. So I want to give you guys a little heads up for what's been going on. So keep good until next time. Thanks.